Our Lady of Peace and Safe Journey Catholic Church in Chalampago was packed with family and friends, as well as military and community members, to pay their last respects to Sergeant Eugene Michael Uggen. The fallen soldier and specialist Dwayne Flores were killed in Kabul, Afghanistan on May 16th when a suicide bomber rammed into their convoy. Both were part of the nearly 600 Guam National Guard soldiers of the 1st Battalion, 294th Infantry Regiment that are deployed to Afghanistan for the next year. The Guard family readiness group Echo historian Josh Blas says many of the members that have loved ones serving in Afghanistan right now gathered together to show support for the families of Specialist Flores and Sergeant Uggen. We come in solidarity to support each other and, and the families. Fondly known as Mikey or Jean, the Manilao resident formerly of Chalampago is best remembered by his closest friends. Franco Santos says their mothers were co-workers and he went to Agatha Johnston Middle School and George Washington High School with Duggan. He hasn't seen him since they graduated from GW in 2007. He's a nice guy. He's very, um, you know, a lot of people think he's very straightforward because of how serious he really looks, but... Me personally and all our friends, we know him to be a good guy. Santos also says he knew the military was meant for his friend. He always wanted to join the military. That was his thing. He was a, he was a daredevil. He was a daredevil of the group. J.B. Donato says Santos introduced Uggen to him and he instantly felt like they already knew each other. He notes Uggen may be the first one to crack jokes, but also the first to show respect to everyone he meets. One thing with Gene is he's very trustworthy. He's like, he's such a good friend that I consider him a brother. Because he'll go out of his way to make sure that you're taken care of. If he's doing something, he'll put down what he's doing, then he'll come just to help me out. Donato tells PNC their group shared many memories together and also came up with their own saying to cement their bond of friendship. And we had our own thing called uh, Rip It Rough. <laughs> But, you know, long story, but that was just something where it's just us, that we knew what the definition behind it, and it kind of defined us as friends. For Taylor, Tidegui Uggen was also his second cousin. He never hid anything from anybody, who he was in the families, who he was in the public, that's how it was. J.R. Mantanotnia tells PNC he considers Uggen one of his best friends since high school. Never a dull moment when Eugene's there. Um, we're always laughing, playing around. I'm going to miss him a lot. He also recalls finding out about Uggen's untimely death. He and the rest of his friends are still in disbelief about what happened. I read it through Facebook, through Taylor's, Taylor's page, and I had to tell Taylor, keep Taylor, call me up because I need to hear it from you. I don't know if this is real. The close-knit group wore t-shirts to Uggen's funeral designed by Donato to honor his memory. And if they could have one last conversation with their friend, this is what they would say. Let's do what you do, you know, let's go have fun. Rip it rough. <laughs> That's one thing with Gene, man. We miss you though, bro. That's for sure. I'll tell him much love, Primo, and until next time, for sure. I love you, man. And I'll see you soon. Before Uggen was buried at the Veterans Cemetery in Petey, military service members lined up both sides of the roadway for the fallen soldier. A 21-gun salute could be heard as passing showers fell over the cemetery grounds. He would have turned 24 on July 25th. Josh Tikenko, PNC News.